To swap out the blast wheel or adjust the control cage on National Shot Blasters, the first step is to remove the rubber feed spout. It may be difficult using just your hands, so we recommend a flathead screwdriver or a similar tool to help you out. The control cage can be removed by first loosening the two acorn nuts and rotating the hold down clamps. The control cage should come right out. Remove the four acorn nuts and washers on each corner. Using a flathead screwdriver or something similar, pry the blast wheel cover up and remove it. Using a hammer handle or something similar, block the blast wheel from rotating. A nut in the center of the blast wheel holds it in place. Using a socket wrench, remove the nut. Note the two dimples in the blast wheel and how they align with the bumps on the machine. Position the replacement blast wheel properly and replace the center nut. In the same manner as before, use a hammer handle to prevent the blast wheel from rotating and tighten the center nut. Reposition the blast wheel cover, replace the washers and acorn nuts, and tighten. The control cage has two divots on the outer edge. Position the control cage so that the dimples face roughly 8.30 and 10.30. This may need to be adjusted based on the blasting pattern. If you are facing the front of the machine and it is blasting stronger on the right side, rotate the control cage clockwise slightly. If the machine is blasting stronger on the left side, rotate it counterclockwise. With the hold down clamps rotated into place and the acorn nuts tightened, replace the rubber feed spout. Ensure there are no edges sticking up. Once again, a flathead screwdriver may help. Double check that all nuts are fully tightened. 